great unwashed. <laughs> Oh, we have truly, you can tell we're closer to the end of this adventure together than we are the beginning because we've gotten punchy. Close to the end, people. Yeah. And action. You, you know that Klimt is Elizabeth's favorite artist. Um, and you he know is. that she's created a whole bunch of products that are Klimt inspired. But one of the things that we've never really dug our feet into or dug our fingers into was exploring metallics with the Klimt products that you've designed. And it's ironic because he used so much metallics in his work. Mm -hmm. And here we are just monkeying, you know, going along endlessly using paint when we decided that it was time to really bring in some metallics. And so that's what we've done today. Um, it's it's really metallics on top of metallics. So we're gonna use metallic paint and then we're gonna foil on top of it and it's gonna be awesome. Metallic squared. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get, there's a lot of really great shiny metallic paints out there, um, all kinds of different brands. And there's one that we use in the video that's also amazing, but there's nothing quite like the metallic shine of foil. Right. Well, it's that mirror effect that you get that just, it, like you say, it kind of is that it, it's like the, the metallic squared. It just is amazing. And when you combine that with the fact that the companies that manufacture this stuff have the ability to do things like put holographic effects on it, which is something that you're using. Yeah. Or they can build stripes into it or the one that you use that really kicked this all off is the one that has the holographic stars on it. And those kind of things just really amp up the whole effect. Um, and it makes it so much fun. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of fun. I mean, the, the foils come in a lot of different colors, but um, for me, I focused on the gold and copper and gold on gold of, of Klimt. But um, if you were interested in colors, uh, patterns, uh, textures, uh, the 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 they're all available there are all kinds of different foils so so this one i did um on the uh the uh, deco art 24 karat gold painted background and then i foiled and i'm going to show you how i did this in the video and then i foiled on top of that so that's very climped in gold on gold and then this is the one with the little sparkly uh um stars and shapes and holographic on the same 24 karat gold so this was the one the piece that i made that that got us all excited about this whole yeah this whole video yeah so and i'm using elizabeth's klimt mask but i stepped away from the gold or the tone on tone in the gold because you know we got to be a little bit different at least so i have this stents or this mask I did, well, it's just gonna be out of focus. I did that one using Elizabeth's mask named Vienna. There. And I foiled it with the silver stars, which is the silver, ver I think that's what I did. Yes, it's the silver version of what she used. And it too is holographic. And you can see that really fun pattern on there. And then that is Vienna. This one is named Nouveau. And I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see it all. But I took advantage of a stripey foil to really make that design kind of really jump out at you. So whether you, whether you stick with the gold on gold or you venture a little bit away from that, you can't not love combining metallic on metallic and the mirrored effect that you get with the foil. Absolutely. I want a dress that looks like this. <laughs> I want a golden climped dress for the next time I go to the theater. There you go. Or over to the crocker and you need to really make an entrance. Right. Or yeah. to the grocery store because realistically that's the only place I go. Well, that's not true. You go to the museum a lot. I do. Mm. This is true. Anyway, I want that Klimt. Do you remember Bram Stoker's Dracula when Dracula rises up out of the coffin at the end? He's in a Klimt robe. The costume designer built the whole robe. It's gold on gold. And I want that to wear to the theater. That. Okay, well, I'm not sure Dracula's I can get robe. <laughs> That's what I want. I'm not sure I can get that for you, but we'll give it the old college It's got to be around here somewhere. It's got to be someplace in hey, a Hey, YouTube storage. people, does anybody know where that robe is? Does anybody know the costume designer from Bram Stoker's Dracula? You never know who's watching this. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. And Let's go show them how to do metallics. If you get it, we're going to go together and you can wear it and I'll just gape. 
Okay. All right. You can go. wear black. Sure, why not? <laughs> Before you can foil, you obviously have to put something on your surface that will make the foil adhere. And for today, we're using the Tacky Wind Dry Gel Medium, primar primarily because though the DecoFoil glue is a little bit thicker, it's not as thick as this gel, and you get less creepage under the stencil. And if you want to maintain some dimension, some height on your product, you can do that. So this is Elizabeth's, this is one of, I think this is from the original Klimt release. This stencil, or excuse me, this mask is named Cubes. I'm not gonna do the whole thing cause really you don't need me to see me spread adhesive over the entire piece. I'm just gonna do a section up here at the top. So I've chosen a, a chunk that I like and I got a big old blob here. Now you do need to keep the stencil as much as possible flat against your surface and my, card, this is a number 10 panel card, this happens to be watercolor, has flexed a little bit from the paint that I put on there. So I'm just going to adjust it back the other way. And then I'm going to start to spread. So you need, I always put my, I'm right-handed. I put my left hand on the surface and then I start to spread. Now, do you want to cover the entire piece? That's up to you. You can, or you can simply leave open areas like I have there. I have the thickness of the Tacky Wind Dry Gel Medium to approximately the height of the stencil, and that's really all I'm gonna do. So that it's it's really very much like spreading frosting on brownies, cause a cake is big and it's domed, but brownies have a tendency to be more flat. And that is really what I like in this too. So when you're done, you can scrape off the excess. You can put it back in the jar. Now, I don't have water right in front of me, but ordinarily I would immediately go put this in the sink. So what I'm gonna do is grab a piece of paper towel and just wipe that off of here. We're gonna put this stencil to one side so that I can clean it after. Get that over there. And so now I have this piece that, usually what I'll do is just come along and wipe the edges like this to kind of clean that up. I'm gonna clean this up off of my work surface and now I'm actually ready. I've got a piece already done that I'm going to go ahead and foil. So this background, like all the ones I'm working with and Elizabeth is, is the DecoFoil Extreme Sheen paint. So it's long since dry and it's ready to do things like put the Tacky Wind Dry Gel Medium on. So before I foil this, and this is Elizabeth's, you can't really see it at this point. It'll, it'll be more obvious once I get the foil on there. This is one of her Klimt masks that's named Vienna. And this one is named Nouveau. So you can see here all of that fabulous foil in the pattern and this particular uh, foil is a deco foil that is named Summer Rainbow and I really took advantage of the stripy nature by letting that run up and down along the card and that's what this is. There's a This is a card front and well I've got it upside down and I'm ready to go when the time comes. So that's done. Now what I'm going to do is bring this into the frame this is one of the Jean, Gina K Fancy Foils. This one is named Sparkling Silver. I thought that would work well with the turquoise color of paint that's on there. So first things first, how long does it take for the Tacky Wind Dry Gel Medium to dry? How long is a piece of string is the answer. It's really hard to know. It's a function of temperature, humidity, and how thick you apply it. This stuff starts off white and it becomes clear as it's dry. So that's your indicator that you're ready to go. Now there is a point where you let this dry so much that it does lose some of its tack and you need to keep that in mind. You can't let this sit overnight because it's probably not gonna adhere particularly well come the next day. So I'm using a Baron because Elizabeth and I have both found that though we think we have mighty fingers, we can apply more consistent pressure with a Baron than we can with our fingers. and. I have a teaspoon ready because we have found that there might be little areas that don't transfer perfectly because we all know that nothing is perfect. And so we can use the bowl of that spoon to get into those little areas. So I think this is pretty good. And what I'm gonna do is start peeling back the foil. And yes, there are definitely areas where I need to come back with the spoon. Now I'm not gonna do this whole thing because that would be torture and we're here to make you have a good time or help you have a good time, not to torture you. So I will do parts of this and then I can always finish it off camera. And the spoon helps, again, have the foil transfer in those areas where maybe the surface of the adhesive is not 
quite level, and that's why you get areas like this. So you just go in and you poke around, or you leave it the way it is. If you're content with it the way that it is, then more power to you. Nothing says it has to be perfect. I am really good at not being perfect. It is my superpower, so I wouldn't spend too much time worrying about this. So we are having fun with Klimt and Metallics, and I am so excited about the gold, mostly the gold and the copper. Barb loves the, the colors of the fancy foils, and I do too, but there's something about the gold on gold of this that's really amazing. So my base layer is done with two coats of Deco Art metallic paint, and the one that I used is 24 karat gold. So that's the base layer. And I am working on my favorite sketch rice paper pad, Yasutomo 9 by 12 rice paper. Um, I find that works amazing on the gel plate, and that is how I applied the base layer of gold on the gel plate with two prints on top of each other. Then I am using two different kinds of foil. I'm using the Deco Foil Peach Princess and um, that comes five sheets in the roll. And then the second one I use uh, is Gina K Designs Fancy Foils, and these are 12 sheets in the package, and this is glimmering gold, and you can see that it's got uh, holographic and little stars and little kind of cool effects in it. So that is why this is the most amazing thing I've created in a long time. <laughs> And you're going to use this as a background for a, are you, is that what I remember you saying you were going to do? Yeah. So I made a, basically I made a piece of collage paper with this on rice paper so I can tear this up. What I would like to do with this is maybe tear out the individual triangles and put them somewhere or use this in an area of gold, right? Mm -hmm. As a collage paper. But what I learned from this process is that I would like to make a Klimt style portrait with this as the background of my actual mixed media artwork because I would use the paint and I would do two layers of this uh, deco art uh, 24 karat gold paint around the outside of my portrait subject and then I would come in and apply the tacky wind dry gel medium through the stencil just like we have done on the paper but I would do it on the background outside of the portrait subject and then I would add the foil so in essence my portrait subject would be in the middle and I would have this fabulous Klimt golden mixed media background on the outside of the portrait head and face. And I would do like the, like the Klimt women with that heavy black hair, you know, to separate the mm. face from the gold. So I think although we exercise this technique on paper, I am really looking forward to putting this technique to my mixed media artwork in the background. Super excited about both ways. I mean, I would even add some of the collage paper probably into that process. So Barb showed you how to apply the Tacky Wind Dry Gel Medium. I have already applied it to this sheet of the 24 karat gold, and I think you can see it there a little bit, but it is um, in the shape of my Klimt Freeform Stencil and Mask Combo, and I use the stencil part of it, the Mylar with the openings to spread the medium through. You're looking for that, aren't you? I put it away. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't remember which one it was either. Yeah, uh, well, you'll it's, see There's it. only six freeform masks. It's going to be pretty easy to identify. So, but the point is, is that the freeform mask, you, you, perforate them out of the mylar background. So you get the positive image that's the mask and the negative image that's the stencil. And I use the negative stencil image and put the gel medium through the opening of the stencil. And once you foil that, I think it's gonna be much easier to see. Yes, well, here we go. Right, here so we go. I'm using the Peach Princess uh, because this one I did, this one is with the uh, original um, Klimt uh, leaves is the stencil title. Yeah. And um, I, since I use gold on gold on this one, I decided to do this kind of copper on gold on this example. I really like the idea of the metallic on metallic um, for this background uh, concept that I'm considering for my Klimt style portrait or, or anything really. I mean, you could do it in other styles, but you know me and the Klimt and the spirals, right? It's all about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think this is a little bit less intricate of a pattern than Barb was doing, so we may not have to go to the spoon, but we may 
Ooh. Yeah, a little and bit. And there's the holographic part. It's getting picked up by the camera. You can just see that shimmer that's going on. So you can come back in. I like to say you can come in with the edge corner of this to get a little more pressure. And also the spoon. It takes a little bit of effort, but it's definitely worth it. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. I know Ooh. you're a little skeptical Got some about glue this there. peach princess or whatever her name is, but I think it looks wonderful with that gold. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just really into the metallic on itself, you know? Like the gold, the copper on the gold, the mm -hmm. the gold on the gold. Well, it's tone on tone, but it's not boring. That's for darn sure. Yeah, exactly. So, and then I did this uh, twice on here. And you know, interestingly enough, this is a solid color of foil. So nothing says you can't pull that sheet off, realize that you missed something, and just lay another section over it. So yeah, you don't have to commit to that the first time around. No, I have to come back here. Also, if you wanted to use two different sheets of foil, nothing says you have to put the same sheet and the same color over the whole thing. I could do partial with the peach and then partial with the gold or partial with something else. Uh, you know, it all depends on where you press it in. To the glue so I could definitely come in with different colors there we go and just a little bit here I know this is probably like watching paint dry but it's kind of fun right yeah well the bonus is when you take it off that's the ooh ah part so yeah so you the nice thing about this too the way that this applies off the sheet like this you keep moving around and we can still use the remainder here for another project. Um, a smaller project, we can definitely, it's not just a one project and you have to get rid of the sheet. So. No, this stuff is reasonably economical. So get one more solid area here. Try to get that to pick up a little bit. Like Barb said, it's never gonna be perfect because the glue application isn't perfect, but there we go. But, you know, you can spend more time fussing with it. But I just love it. Look at that. Oh, really my pretty. goodness. So can you imagine this, like, in the background? Look really at, pretty. Look at that holographic effect. You can see that when I tip it. Mm -hmm. So it's peach, like copper, but it's got this holographic effect. And then the first one has the little shimmering stars and shapes in it so so climped in metallics i mean it doesn't it doesn't get more climped than that right i mean that's just yeah it looks great awesome all right so anyway that's metallic squared and uh my story about the uh, dracula costume yeah. i'm still thinking about that i know you are i i have been for a long time that's an old movie it's you, Yes, and it's one that I've actually seen a couple of times. I'm not big on going to the movies. I wait until they're, you know, streaming someplace. But that was a movie that I think I saw in the theater. It was a fun one. Yeah, it was a good one. Somebody needs to make a movie about Klimt. They have. Where have you been? A, a new movie. She about lives Klimt. under a rock. I do. Honestly, <laughs> I do. There have been a few. <laughs> right, whatever. Yes, well, we'll, we'll, we'll make some popcorn and watch Klimt movies when yeah. we're done. So you know what we're going to be doing tonight. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye.